early birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Planet Cooster Career Mode. I went ahead and did a little bit of fast forwarding, so we were able to pay off the $5,000 loan easy. Easy, because we were able to actually make money by continuously inspecting rides over and over and over. We just did this whole micromanagey thing, where is it, right over here, and <laughs> just continuously clicking on this and making sure that everything was inspected as we did before. That's basically the only way I know to make sure that rides stay up. Because otherwise, oh wow, we're, we're really good on getting that one inspected. But maybe it's one of the, maybe it's, it's one of the baby rides that it doesn't break down so often. I don't know. Probably would have been a good thing to have that one in the park a little earlier. Oosh. But I just did not think of that whatsoever. I was just like, mm, nobody's going to want to ride it. So what's the point of having it? But no, clearly it's making some money. And where's the other one? Yeah, that one's also making the money. Not too much, but it's making something, which actually helps. Our guests are still are still thirsty, and they're still complaining about Hats Fantastic. Let's see. It's making a little bit of money, so, I mean... Wait, do we have two? Do we have two Hats Fantastics, or did we get rid of one of them? No, we only have one. Okay. Cosmic Cow Milkshake, the new one. Oh, it looks busy. I need a bathroom. <laughs> How is that making it lose money? What? Oh, that's weird. It's losing money somehow. Not that much money, but it's losing some money. And that's a bit of a problem because people are saying they're thirsty and we have three places to drink from, but they're still not going to them. Doesn't make sense. This park is okay so far. How are the majority? Ooh. Hmm. I mean, we're not missing any sales, but that number went way, way down. I had such a bad time of getting a refund. Uh, is it because all the rides keep breaking down or because you're complaining still about something that you can just ignore? I think that's probably what it is because y'all are jerks. But it seems like, yeah, they're not spending that much family groups, but they still probably enjoy these kinds of rides. Actually, it says, oh, coaster. Sorry, my bad, my bad. That's right, that's coaster. They spend the most money on absolutely nothing. <laughs> they're probably not the best ones to have in the park. But, I mean, these rides have ended up being very, very good for this place, so I'm not going to complain, okay? They're good for something here. ATM's losing money. I mean, we can't really charge for them. As we saw before, people were not getting money, and then they were leaving. Didn't want that happening anymore. Charging for this, uh, I'm okay with paying that. Okay, good. Good. 50 cents is, oh, not even 50 cents, 25 cents. I guess. I guess that's okay. And people are still paying for the restroom, so I'm not going to... Poor people that are having to pee on themselves because they can't afford the one dollar. I know it's really ripoffish, but it helps us. Like, look, we're in the green right now for the time being until things start to happen. We have not been making too much profit overall. But then again, we'd probably be straight up losing tons of money. We still have the roller coasters, so that's why we're not bringing them back ever again. There you go, we made four thousand dollars. Um, yeah, that was really good. But that's because I kept managing this whole thing. When I let it just go, just, just no. Like, this is what happened when I just let it go. And so, basically, you have to stay on top of this. At, at least in this specific park, you have to stay on top of every single thing re regarding the uh, inspection of the rides. Once it gets to the orange, you're kind of screwed. If nobody inspects it as soon as possible, it's probably going to break down. Like, we'll see that probably soon. There's three rides so far that are in the orange is yeah, four there we go yep just as i said so you have to make sure that they stay in the green and that means inspecting them over and over and over again which means you're gonna need a lot of mechanics there we go the ones that we asked for inspection all broke down because they were all in the orange and that's what i've learned from this they can't stay like their wear and tear status cannot be orange especially not red because it's just not gonna go well they're just gonna break down you're gonna lose tons of money like we just did right there and it just it costs just so much and ooh, someone needs to inspect this right now right now i requested it and nobody's doing it oh my gosh i made a lot of money there we go request another inspection but uh yeah if you don't do that if you don't keep up on that then you're never going to reach this it's really ridiculously hard to reach that if you don't keep up on the inspections uh, maybe the way that i did it with all the mechanics was not the best idea like we're still losing money because we're paying for so many mechanics but but there might be another way to do it. I just didn't want to do it that way, though, because I figured one mechanic per ride is going to help them to just stay on top of it. That might be, you know, a thing you might want to try if you're going to play this. But otherwise, uh, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to get it. But good luck to you, because 
it's so ridiculous oh my gosh people are just hating the park more and more but that's okay because we have just one more loan to pay off and that one's almost good to go hmm hmm i wonder 12 percent interest are they all 12 percent interest is it yeah okay i was thinking like maybe we could take out the five thousand dollar one to pay that off yeah that's probably not gonna help a little bit <laughs> that's probably not gonna help at all especially with since with this one we pay off more per, per month than compared to this one because we can only pay off 375 with that one so yeah i have to leave this one going see it went reached the orange and suddenly it's like breaking again and again and again and it's really annoying but what are we gonna do like once we actually complete this last objective I'm going to go ahead, take out loans, and refurbish all the rides and see just how long it takes for them to break down. Because I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm very, very curious about that. Like, maybe if we could have afforded the refurbishments, we would have been able to do it and maybe have gotten this a little faster. But at the same time, we had to build a coaster, which would have taken a lot of money as well, you know, compared to just doing all the refurbishments and doing just for things for this. Ugh, they're all breaking apart soon. If we didn't need a roller coaster, though, we wouldn't have had to deal with all that money loss because maybe coasters are, you know, if you build a really good one, maybe it could be very profitable. But uh, even the one that was pre-built didn't end up a good thing for this park at all, like this one. Was it that one? No, this one. <laughs> Cheaper one, yeah. This one ended up not being good for the park whatsoever, even though it was like this cheap little baby roller coaster here and people probably would have liked it because... It's pretty exciting and not so fear 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 inducing and nauseating so i'm just like how just how but we're making money right now somehow what's happening that i'm not even looking at right now uh reds and tickets yeah that's not too bad like we probably could have achieved this uh what time is it wow if nothing breaks right now we probably could achieve this right now because nothing's falling apart at the time. I'm saying this now and so I'm probably jinxing it. Because something's about to, bound to break anytime soon. I haven't been fixing anything. We have four hours left. It's totally going to reach over 5,000. Can we almost pay this up? Oh, no. So close. Please nothing break down so I can afford this. I'm asking that. But uh, this monolith is not forgiving whatsoever. So that's a reach right there. Let's see. Yep, there we go. 6,000. And that's... Probably the second time we've hit it. I know that one hit it with uh, just 5,500. That would have been close, but no cigar there. This, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's probably because I kept inspecting the rides right before I started this. Oh, 7,000. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. If only this would go faster, because then I could pay it all off and be done with this thing. But, yeah, I think we figured out the key to doing this. Maybe that's just one of the ways to do it. I don't. I doubt that's, oh, my gosh, 5000 all in one month. I doubt that's the only way to do it because surely there has to be more than one way to do Did you see the name of this? Monolith 3.14. I'm pretty sure that continues with 1592. Forgot the rest of Pi, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about right now. Let's see. These are all buildings. Just just this one that's a monolith. Oh, it was, only, it was the only one that was named. I see. I see you, game. I see you. Let's take a look at the loan. 4000 We need another 1000 but uh, is that going to happen before a ride breaks down, or are we going to... There we go. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. And we're going to start losing tons of money all at once, because one... Oh, it got up. All right. Is it going to start earning more money now? Wow, we lost a lot of money. That's what I don't like, too, because when you have to fix a ride, it costs so much to do so. Like... Why don't I just get rid of the ride and then build another one? You know what? That probably would have helped. That honestly would have helped just doing that instead of waiting for it to be fixed. All right, so whenever a ride just dies, destroy it and then build another one because it's going to be a lot cheaper. Like, what was it? I think it's going to be a lot cheaper. Was it insanity? Insanity. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> and there we go. Wild Blue's broken insanity okay maybe not so much uh, it was a thought you know it was a thought i'm just trying to figure out what the heck else we could do to get this thing oh not breaking down so often and there goes the rest of our money hey <laughs> just like that we were up in like almost four thousand and then everything decides to die all at once oh money oh yeah fixing the cube really expensive really really expensive especially since it's always breaking down so maybe just uh, if you can build a park that only has these baby rides over and over again because they don't need that much inspection. 
Orly Rig has a really plain looking queue. Yeah, don't say I didn't bother with it because they were the last rise we placed there. Yep. They don't need much inspection. I think they just get inspected regularly by the one mechanic and then it's like whatever. They don't need to be looked at any more than that. A thousand dollars right now though, because nothing's breaking for the time being, and now we still have to pay off three thousand nine hundred and etc. money. Okay, let's take a look at how these are going. I mean, they're going fine just now. Hats Fantastic is making more money than it was before. What? Why are all y'all dum-dums complaining then? Jeez. Like, what is... Ugh. And this one, I mean, it's not that important unless you need to get an X amount of guests in the park or need to achieve a certain park rating. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't the case here. So, oh, decorating the park, not the most... Ooh, not the most important thing. Oh my gosh, we were up in like 2000. Oh wait, it's still going up? It's still going up even though hammer swing is broken? Oh, 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 maybe I spoke too soon? Oh, never mind, it's still going up despite hammer swing. Okay, maybe hammer swing doesn't cost so much to fix? What was that? What was that? That was weird. Okay, sure. I'll take it, whatever. Guess thing Psychola has a long queue time. It does, but it's one of those pre-built rides that I really did not want to touch. Like, let's take a quick look here at Psychola. It has like a nice queue with a sign and everything like that, and just that's a pre built queue there. Why would I want to mess this up? Especially since it has like all the scenery around it and whatnot. It feels dumb to just mess it up. So, well, I mean, it's okay. We still make tons of money from it, and it's not like queuing there is going to make us any more money. So, yeah. Got to take care of that problem like that. Um, not queuing that long. I mean, if we made the queue super long, people would be waiting in queues a lot longer than actually going to other rides that probably don't have as much business. Uh, pro that probably just recently broke down and were fixed. Something like that. So let's see. You need an inspection. How are... Our oh, so close. Can we do it? Can we do it? I believe we can. Please, nothing break down. Nothing. Oh, this one's in the red, though. Psychola is in the red right now, you guys. It's about to break down. It's about to go to so is the cube again the cube is always the culprit Ugh, as much as i love that ride because we could charge an arm and a leg for it i kind of hate it why is our money going down like really fast right now please go up you need to go up dude go up go up so we can pay this thing off no it's not doing Ugh. it's just staying at the same amount there oh no so close we were so close actually it's hammer swing again Maybe we can still try to pay this off. So I'm just like wildly clicking like, please, please, please. Let there be like one moment. One moment where we can actually get this going. One brief. Yes. <laughs> Hard objectives for Monolith complete. We completed Monolith in six parts. Six parts. Didn't think that would happen. Because it looked like it was going to be ridiculously hard. Especially <laughs> since, what was it? Good Gully Miss Molly took forever. Wild Blue broke down. Uh, fine. I'll let it get fixed, and then I'll refurbish all the rides with a new loan. That we... I don't think it'll take away our gold star, so that's gonna be totally fine. But there you have it, you guys. That's how you beat Monolith, even though it's a pain in the rear end. <laughs> if you want to do it, do it that way. Or you can do it your own way, you know? It's up to you. Try whatever you need to try to get it to work for you. So let's request a refurbishment on all the rides. It means that they're probably gonna be shut down for a little while, but uh, I think it's going to help. Let's see. Let's, I think it's a little easier to do it from here. Yep. Uh, doodles. Uh, Venetian Carousel, I think it's fine. Hammer Swing, though. You need it. And that's about it. Because your Whirly Rig and Venetian Carousel are totally fine. They rarely ever break down. So I'm okay with that. Let's see how it goes. We can probably pay off this loan right quick with a $10,000 loan. Apparently not. How much money do we have? Ugh. Fine, I'm going to start taking out massive loans just to pay off all this random crap here. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's do it this way. You have 2000 Let's do this. Pay off that one. Good. Pay off that one. Good. Alright, so now we have one loan. There we go. Consolidation. Oh, yeah. Let's just... Buy this was the last loan we just paid off to. <sighs> That's okay, though, because I just want to see the, how the refurbishment works. I just want to see how it goes. We are probably losing a lot of people. Yeah, people are leaving. All right, refurbishment not required because it was just refurbished. Let's see how long before something breaks. It is right now 2 p.m. on September 11th, year six. So we're going to let this run for just a little bit and then see when the first ride actually breaks down. Not including Venetian Carousel or the Whirly Rig because those two, 
eh, whatever. <laughs> they were just thrown in there to help us earn just a little more money. And it looks like our money is, I mean, that's not too bad. It's really not too bad. So, hmm, refurbishment would have really worked. Since nothing's breaking down and we're earning quite a bit of cashola. Alrighty, let's see just how much longer it takes for something to fall apart. So we refurbished the rides on September 11th. And now it's April 10th. And the first one has broken down. So the refurbishment seems to last at minimum three months because they're yeah it's not open the park isn't open for the winter so it's a uh, september to october october to march march to april so three months that the whole thing lasted so if you want to make your money then you really do have to focus on refurbishment because otherwise i mean we didn't really reach six thousand in any of the months that we had it uh going which wasn't good but we did get money we made enough money to almost pay off the loan like we're just two thousand short which isn't too bad so as you can see there, maybe you have to save it for refurbishment if you really want to get the game going for you. But hey, again, that's all up to the individual player. However, you know, everyone wants to play, they can play however they want. Even if it takes like 20,000 years to actually finish this one scenario. <laughs> but I don't want to play that way. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Planet Coaster Career Mode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button to show your support. And subscribe because we have new Planet Coaster Career Mode videos every single day. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.